Have you ever considered what it would be like to go to space and meet the aliens? Several people have, and standing out amongst them as a human being will be a prominent figure. Billionaire CEO Elon Musk is currently redefining technology as we know it, with luxurious, breathtaking vehicles that will supposedly move on land and even in space, particularly on Mars. Elon Musk has proven that he always wanted to go fast and furious with the cars, his company continuously built for the world. Guess that's where it all begins, since 2016, as he turned his sights to space travel. Musk must think that the window to spread humanity to Mars might be closing soon, so he needs to squeeze through space before that window shuts down. Hence the beginning of SpaceX building rockets and space travel vehicles. Welcome to Luxury Lifestyle. Watch this video to the end as we uncover the SpaceX Starship's luxury interior concept. The SpaceX Starship is a fully reusable, two-stage-to-orbit, super-heavy lift-launch vehicle under development by SpaceX. SpaceX reported that their space travel system is comprised of a booster stage named Super Heavy and a second stage called Starship, designed as a long-duration cargo and eventually a passenger-carrying spacecraft. SpaceX successfully designed the Falcon 9 in December of 2015, capable of propulsive vertical landing which was the first record of such performance by a rocket built for orbital spaceflight. With the launch of SpaceX's CRS-8 in April 2016, a successful vertical landing for the first stage was accomplished on an ocean drone landing platform. In May 2016, SpaceX again landed the first stage of the flight during a significantly more active geostationary transfer orbit mission. Going further into January of 2020, SpaceX again became the largest commercial satellite constellation operator in the world after it launched the Starlink project for the third time. In September 2016, Musk revealed the Interplanetary Transport System, which is now known as a Starship. It was intended to be used as a launch system to develop spaceflight technology that will be carried out crewed interplanetary travel to space. Around 2017, Elon Musk unveiled an upgraded configuration of the system responsible for overseeing planet-to-planet -planet missions. According to Musk, this system will be the primary SpaceX orbital vehicle after the early 2020s because plans are already in place to replace the Falcon 9 launch vehicles as well as the Dragon space capsule fleet with a new Starship, even in the market for Earth orbit satellites. The design of the Starship is so that it will be fully reused as the largest rocket ever on its debut as scheduled for early 2020. A few days after showing off the shiny silver exterior of SpaceX's new spaceship, Elon Musk flashed a peek at the inside. During the night on September 28, 2020, SpaceX founder, who can't wait to see human beings regenerate on Mars, presented a design update about Starship and Super Heavy the reusable spacecraft and rocket, respectively, part of the company's plan to develop and help humanity colonize and inhabit Mars. Standing in front of the newly assembled stainless steel exterior Starship MK-1, which is the first full-size prototype of the 100-passenger aircraft on Tuesday, October 1, 2020, he gave people a chance to steal a quick look into the interior of the 50 meters tall MK-1 prototype. The MK-1 design is for a 100-man crew. It features a living space divided into seven decks, labeled from bottom to top as A to G. Between every two decks, there is two opening cuts slightly from one deck to the next, intended to curb accident that might result from flying through multiple decks while in zero gravity. The removable rails around the openings are installed to prevent accidents like falling or stumbling either on Mars or Earth. The living spaces on each deck is 2.2 meters high, except the last deck G, with a height of 2.16 meters. The blue bars installed in most areas are provided to hold the hand and foot as support. The floors are covered in hexagonal tiles to allow passengers to attach wall partitions and other decorative items to meet their taste. First of all, let's take a look at the amazing decks from deck A to deck G, one after the other. Deck A is designed to be the exercise and relief area of the Starship. ISS found that to avoid bone and muscle loss during the three to six months of travel to Mars, and there's a need to exercise for at least two hours or more each day. A crew of 100 people requires at least 10 workout machines. 
Most machines are wall-mounted to make full use of the walls and ceiling for living space since there's no up or down in zero gravity. Deck A has an airlock to allow engineers to go outside their starship when needed to make inspections and provide support for landing in areas with no landing infrastructure pre-installed. Decks B and C are residential areas with passenger cabins and toilets. Each deck containing 25 rooms can carry two people per room. Each room is separated from the other by removable walls that can be removed during launch and landing as groups traveling together might want to remove the walls separating their adjoining cabins. The seats in these cabins are placed radially when the ship accelerates and can be automatically adjusted with enough range of motion to meet up to the ship's direction vector change during takeoff. To make more room available per person on decks that do not contain rooms, passengers will be sleeping in two shifts, in sleeping bags installed into the walls to ease entry and exit while the other person is asleep. Small windows are cut into the cabins on the leeward side of the ship. The seats in deck A can be removed, disassembled, and stored away. In contrast, passengers' luggage is stored in carry-ons in the ceiling of each cabin. Deck D is a single toilet in the solar storm shelter where a layer of 0.7 meter thick outside the shelter is used to store the passenger's check luggage. Each passenger has at least 1.0 meters cubed of check luggage, weighing a maximum of 250 kilograms in several places. A 12.5 centimeter layer of water is enclosed inside the storm shelter in packed up plastic containers that can be easily removed and used for utilities like cooking during the flight and replaced after processing. A closed cycle water purification system similar to ISS is being designed into the ship. At the same time, food will be preserved in some of the interior storage layers. Perhaps you wouldn't want to run out of eggs and bacon in your first two months of a six-month journey, but food cravings have to be drastically reduced in this situation. In cases where a solar storm occurs, all 100 passengers will be moved into the shelter built in a location that will provide some additional shielding for the cabin areas. Deck E is designated for the kitchen or galley area. A 100-man crew will need a lot of food, especially for a journey estimated to be six months. Deck E serves as the self-service food area with food storage and dispensing mechanisms that must first be loaded by the crew before every meal to prevent disagreements and other social problems. Vertical posts are available in the kitchen area for crew members to temporarily attach things they are holding in fixed locations, since tables cannot be used in zero gravity. Decks F and G are the lounges and recreational areas. I guess Elon Musk also considered that traveling to Mars will be boring, so this area was built to spice things up on the Starship. So those decks are designed with removable walls that can be used to change the layout of these spaces to suit the passenger's preference. You can have a private party up there where everyone is invited. This segment of the Starship is just magnificent. In these areas, shared movie viewing will be available through large video monitors installed inside. However, everyone is expected to have their own laptop. Large windows are cut on the ship's leeward side to give both decks a view of the outside. We might not have to wait for too long to meet the Martians as commercial operations are en route to begin. Starship and Super Heavy are bound to start launching communication satellites in the early part of 2021. The company already has a crewed round-the-moon trip in 2023 booked by the Japanese billionaire Yusaka Maezawa, who has reportedly said that he intends to take a handful of artists with him. Let's be honest here, what Elon Musk plans to achieve is pretty damn complicated, but the design of the interior of the Starship shows an increasing competence in his ability to build rockets. When it comes to innovation and rocket science, do you think there's any company much better than SpaceX in the world? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comments section below. And while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content? Until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and remember, it's not the luxury you get, but the luxury you deserve.